Welcome back, guys. I'm Mike. And I'm Stephanie. And we're Van Life Sheldon's Travels. Sheldon, he's our yellow belly slider turtle. He's right here hanging out with us today. We are right out. We left Zion National Park in the last video, guys. It was really hard to leave that nice park, having all of that there to offer. But some things have to come to an end, so we made our way up here to Cedar City. We wanted to restock, and we want to see some dinosaur prints and some petroglyphs here, guys. So that's just right outside of town. Before we head on over to Bryce Canyon, we found this really, instead of camping at the petroglyphs, we decided before we go there, about halfway there, was a cool little camping spot on I Overlander that was right on the river here. So yeah, it's definitely. Cole Creek, I think is the name. Yep, that's yeah, the name Cole of it, Creek. Cole Creek. And it's just a little BLM, 14-day free stay, no amenities, but it is right here on the creek, guys. So Yeah, there are about... I don't know maybe eight different spots there are big rigs in here actually but i wouldn't say this is big rig friendly. friendly so if you are brave with your big rig you might be able to get down here there are one or two spots that are big freak big rig friendly like where we are or if you parked over here in the driveway you could still people could get around you but not very much like steph said it's more for tents or for vans or small little uh rvs but we got us a cute little spot right here on the river, so we did good. But a lot of people came in, uh, you know, last night. We got here last night and kind of right at dark almost. And a lot of people started piling in right at dark. And when we got up, everybody was gone. So uh, we moved on over into this really nice spot uh, this afternoon. And we thought we would uh, take you guys around the camp and show you what it has to offer. Definitely, let's check it out. All right, guys. Well, Pretty big camp spot right here on the river. Sheldon's been enjoying himself, being able to walk around. There is some trash here, but that's everywhere now, pretty much. We try to do a bag of trash when we leave. Nice fire pit, but you can't beat how close you are right here to the water. I mean, how pretty that is. I even got like some natural steps down here on the rocks yep. big nice boulders that you could go and sit on and you know i don't know if there's any fish in here but you could go hang out by the water for the day that's awful nice especially it's not too hot up here but uh you want to head on down and i'll follow you yeah definitely we are up in elevation i'll have to check and see what the elevation is here try to put that on the screen but it's been nice here must say it's a lot cooler than uh most places so well this is the perfect spot to use our tubes we actually got them last summer and we haven't found anywhere to use them yet or we haven't gotten them out yet and this would be the perfect spot to use them so we might pull those tubes out and hang out here yeah that would be a lot of fun all right well we got sheldon with us while uh, we just take you down here by the water Last night when we pulled in, we actually seen a tent over there. So that was pretty cool to see somebody actually camp right there on the water because that's actually the riverbed and it's just low water right now. So that's pretty cool that you could camp that close and they did that. Pretty nice through here, like I said. Not bad for free. Do have to do a little bit of maneuvering here, a little boulder hopping, but what do you expect? It is a dry riverbed, but if you keep going, it gets like to flat areas, so you can have your own private beach all along this way. So that's really cool. The 
rock walls here are very interesting. The natural rock, right, babe? Yeah, I love it. Especially up top, you can see the roots of the trees and how they're, you know, holding to the ground there. That's awesome. Yeah, check out that tree. Just see all its roots beds right there. I thought this was pretty interesting how the root, how all the rocks. Yeah, it's like the earth was cut like a cake and you can see the underneath. It's pretty cool. Well, one time, this river here was definitely flowing a lot more than it is now. Sheldon play a little bit in the water. Yeah, I like to find him a shallow spot where he could just play something like this, some sand, some water, and it goes for a little stretch so he has a little bit of area to go. Of course, we keep our eye on him because if he gets in that water, he's gone. And I don't think he'd want to do that anyway, but he likes his water time. There he is. rather go away from that rapid water. Never gets old camping here by the river or by any water at that that rate. It's even better when it's free. It does look pretty cool, doesn't it? It does. I mean, 
you can see the rocks along the edge and it's not very deep because you can see the boulders and the top of the boulders but it's pretty clean water and it's going at a decent rate yeah it's going at a pretty good rate here log right there a log of wood making a waterfall not a rock if you look close enough yep like i said right there's the van not too far away pretty nice camp spot are you done you over the water i'm ready to go back You ready to go back home, huh? Ready to go back home, huh? I'm done with the water, guys. I'm ready to go. How'd I get back to the van? Good I'm over the water. Oh, 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 you got your face dirty now. Now what you gonna do? You got your face dirty. Oh, you gonna do it with the other foot? Get the other side dirty too? You silly. Silly. So I need to get rinsed off, big people. Take care of me. Too domesticized for all this stuff. Rinse me off, mom. Rinse me off. have to do is go back up the stairs. Be right back to our camp, right? Yeah. Really nice spot. Really, really nice spot. Yeah. Alright, I guess we'll... Uh get back at you when we get some dinner going or if anything exciting around here happens all right guys well we've been hanging around here at the campground all day but we decided before we eat dinner we'd walk you around this little campground yeah. it's small but it maybe is small but it's always nice to get out and stretch our legs and the campground, the roads kind of go uh, all over, but it's mostly in like an infinity sign. So we thought we'd take you around, see how many sites are actually here, and then maybe if you could get a big rig in here yeah, or not. Maybe you could tell if you could fit in here or not. So Absolutely. here we go. Yeah, let's check it out. This is our camp spot. And yeah. as you can tell, let's kind of go this way towards the front here. There's another campsite over here. Looks like their tent is upside down. The and road's can... kind of bad. It does have some rough spots, rocks, uh, hills. There's a nice spot right here on the water also. That, that works for a bigger rig. And like Steph was saying about the road here, the up and down. Yeah, we actually didn't even want to bring the van up this big hill, so we actually, you can see the road goes we that went way. around that way. way. But here's another nice spot for a big rig. Like I said, you just got to be a little creative, that's all. You do have to come down a hill to get in here, too. You do, a little one, but not too yeah. bad. Oh, 
do a little bit of tent camping back in here. Doesn't look the best. Definitely needs to be cleaned up. It's a pretty nice spot though. It is a really nice spot. And here's the entrance. Pretty close to the main road. Like I said, when you come in, this is what you see here. You kind of get that big spot there for the big rig. You kind of make this dip around. Here's another little spot. That could have been a pull through spot if I didn't put a fire pit right in the middle. Right. People have been chopping on the trees here. That's not good. So. Yeah, I don't know what the purpose of cutting all this wood here was, but. Hopefully. Hopefully that was something they did and not something somebody did, but. How's it going? Good. Here's the spot that was beside us. Right. Good so night. there's a few couple, a few spots back in here. Yes. This kind of looks like it could be a pull through spot because the road does go around, and there is this another kind of spot here. right here. Yeah. They come back in the evening. Then there's a nice spot in the back here, which someone's back there, so we'll kind of go right here and let you see. But yeah, that's about it. So I guess you could slide in a few more tents and stuff in here if you wanted. Yeah, we've actually seen people park their cars and then hike their tents to the river like I told you guys earlier. earlier so that's an option too right so if you have a tent and just want to park on the not park but camp on the river and park your car out a little bit of ways yeah. like I said here we are again I would say if you plan to camp in the river on a tent be prepared for chilly nights because we did see a couple campers go down there and it didn't look like they were prepared for the cold nights so just just know the temperature does drop. It could be like 20, 30 degrees between the time of the day that you went and at night. Right, so, well, we're back to camp here. It looks like we're gonna try to make us a little dinner. Definitely. And call it a night, I guess. Watch yeah. the TV. Absolutely, really nice spot. We like it here. It works. Pretty quiet. It works. Yeah, definitely. No cell phone service, but we're with at AT&T, T-Mobile, or Verizon. Yeah. So. But we're content because we have the dish. And so the dish is awesome because I don't think we would have stayed anywhere this long before without internet. So having entertainment has definitely allowed us to stay here with no internet for the, right. the last couple of days. So that's been awesome. All right, guys. Let's head All in. Right. Make we're just here camping down by the river, and we decided to make some dinner. We warmed up a P.F. Chang meal. It has chicken and some vegetables so i'm cooking some spanish rice in here to get some rice going with that that should be a good hearty meal good deal babe yeah. so there's no internet here but we got tv because of the satellite dish which works and um we're gonna enjoy a nice dinner and sitting here down by the river right guys definitely and uh makes a difference to have entertainment <laughs> it does so all right guys i think we're gonna call it a night Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this camp spot. We'll see you in the morning. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on Patreon and Instagram. Hit the bell for more notifications. And we'll see you in the next one. Have a good night, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Can't wait for dinner. Yay. Dinner, 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 dinner.